In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to get your Windows 10 Hyper-V virtual machine to be in a domain or to add it in the domain. So at first, we'll go ahead and look for Control Panel. Go over to System and go to System again. And you should be able to see here the system settings, so where you can see the computer name. So I will be changing the computer name as well, and at the same time, I'll be joining it into the domain. So I'll just click on the change over here, and I'll type PC1 because this is the first computer that I have set up with Windows 10 on this particular Hyper-V. So I want to keep that name. I'll be joining it into the domain group kloso.dc. Um, this has already been set up, so if you need to know more information about how to set up a domain, I'll probably create one video about it. But again, it has already been set up. So if you know about the details on how to um, join it into the domain, or if you know the details about the domain name, you can just put in the domain name over here and key in the administrator username and password. And so if you were to choose the KLSO.dc, which is your domain, make sure that your DNS has the information as well for your domain. So what I mean is, what I mean is when you go over and set up your TCP IP, make sure that your preferred DNS also has your domain IP address. So this is actually my, uh, my domain server IP. Okay. So that it will automatically see it. So you don't yeah, you don't have any issues with your network and confuses it. Especially if you are, have an environment where there's multiple domains. So let's just click on OK on this one. It should be asking me for my AD username and password. So I'll just type that in and click on OK on that. Should be applying the settings and joining this to the domain. So if you can see, it says here, welcome to the KLSO domain. So just click on OK on that and you will have to restart so that the settings will be applied properly. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so before restarting, you can see here that the computer name has already changed to the one that I have preferred and the FQDN or the fully qualified domain name is now registered to pc1.kls.dc. So let's go ahead and proceed with restart. So for my Hyper-V manager, um, you can see here that the server is running and it's uh, booting up. All right, so what I normally do after that, because I did the initial setup, once it booted up, um, I will go ahead and um, make sure that I can log in to the, to the Windows 10 PC that I have created that is joining the domain. Once I manage to log in, I will go ahead and create a checkpoint for my Hyper-V. Checkpoints are actually quite important, especially if you um, yeah, if you wanted to make sure that you have the concrete restore points for your application, especially if you will be reinitializing it a lot of times. So it's better to have checkpoints at certain points of the application settings. All right, so it's actually started and booted up. So let's try to open that one up and log in with our local account and see whether that works without any issue. We can still do and try to log in with our domain account later on. So, yep, it does provide us the information that we need. So the host name is actually PC1 now. So it's all good. It has been registered to the domain and added into the domain. Um, so I guess that will conclude our session for today. Um, if you do have any questions, you can let me know um, in the comments below. Um, or you can always 
check it directly online. Um, there should be a lot of information that you can find about the setup and configuration for joining it into the domain. Thanks for watching.